experience of life, history, and the future. So I am very intrigued with the title. I know that our guest is going to illuminate it for us, and I am looking forward to reading his books now that I know about him, and I wish him well at his new post at NYU. I told him this evening that uh, our daughter is a graduate of the NYU Journalism Program, and I wish she had had him as a professor. Thank you very much. Always a great pleasure to introduce the founding donor of the of the center, who has been with us in all of our formative stage, uh, Uka Solanke, and Mr. Solanke, and there are other members of the Solanke family here. They are always glad to see. Uh, Uka, would you like to have a word? Good evening, everybody. Uh, this is a great opportunity that we are going to hear today the real Bombay story, what is real Bombay is. I know some of passed through there, but some of you don't know where the Bombay what it looks like. And uh, our today's uh, speaker will uh, tell us about the Bombay. Uh, also, the Yadunandan Center is mainly to do the cultural and uh, relationship and uh, general information about uh, both countries to each other countries. Last December we had uh, a group of people from Long Beach University went to the, with, with the, also the president and everybody went to the New Delhi and other cities and uh, they had an excellent, as my understanding, they had an exchange with the uh, Indian top universities are chancellors and they discuss about the issue education we are supposed to you know how the modern education going and how we can share the exchange of the education and coming education so thank you very much coming today and uh, hope you all enjoy it thanks Say Luke. But I don't know Luke's last name. All I know is it's Luke from Duke. <laughs> they met at Duke University in the MBA program. And, uh, uh, welcome, Luke. We hope to see you often. And, and if you give us your last name, we'll, we'll put it on the mailing list. Some tie. Uh, good evening to everybody. Uh, it is a great pleasure to be here at uh, Cal State Long Beach. Uh, as uh, Dr. Kaminsky said, my name is Vidra Shah and I represent uh, the Chai uh, Institute today. Uh, Chai stands for the acronym for Challenge, Ideas and Entrepreneurship. I'll show you in a minute what we do and how we do it. Uh, Chai as an organization always looks for the opportunity for the event and organization where we can become uh, part of uh, the sort of the event where it supports uh, as well as has footprints of uh, Indian culture. We, we look for that opportunity. We are honored to be here uh, in, in the presence of Soketu Mehta, who is such an acclaimed writer as well as a distinguished uh, publisher. I know the that we is going to talk about him very quickly, but I couldn't resist some of the the the, uh, the praises written for him in uh, uh, some of the articles uh, th about the book Praise for Maximum City, uh, winner of 2005 Kiriyama Prize, uh, Pulitzer Prize finalist 2005, uh, chosen as one of the best books of 2004 by the Library Journal. Children as Book of the Year for 2004 by the Economist, so on and so, so on and so forth. Uh, uh, I'd like to take, so we, we join all of you in welcoming uh, Suketu Mehta uh, to CSLUB. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank, uh, first of all, uh, Yerunandan Center for Indian uh, Studies, uh, center obviously which increases the visibility among Indian scholars 
about Indian culture, uh, Indian people, Indian heritage, and Indian history. Uh, I might add, this is the, the first of a kind institution in California. Uh, second, I would like to thank Dr. Arnold Kaminsky, uh, who is the director of the Yadunandan Center for Indian Studies. Uh, he's a recipient, those who don't know, is a recipient of the William G. Carr Memorial Award, one of the highest honors awarded by the National Education Association. Uh, and, and I was more fascinated by sort of his uh, commitment uh, towards continuous efforts whereby the, it, it has resulted in the enhancing and developing the curriculum of Asian studies and culture at the high school, actually middle school level. Uh, he serves on a number of, uh, I guess, uh, boards of regional and national professional organizations. Uh, uh, three, I would like to thank Dr. Vipasa Barua as well, uh, who is the Associate Director of Yedrundan Center of Indian Studies. Uh, and uh, last but not least, uh, uh, Mrs. Nalini Solanki and Mr. Uka Solanki. Uh, the core foundation of this center has been the result of generous and thoughtful endowment of uh, uh, them for half a million dollars. Uh, I was looking for what is the name for Yadunanda. All I knew was that's the name of Lord Krishna. So I looked a little bit further and the way I found out that the name of the center has been given uh, behind the name of uh, Mrs. Nalini Solanke's great, great grandfather, as I understand. And as also I, I understand that uh, his leadership and uh, advocacy for education was sort of exemplary in those days in India. Uh, so that's where the Yadonanda name is coming from. Uh, so we, we like to thank uh, all of them that I mentioned uh, in, in uh, just a few, few seconds ago. Now I'd like to tell you what we do at Chai, what Chai is about. Uh, Chai is a global non-profit network of entrepreneurs, executives, business owners, and professionals, which is dedicated to fostering entrepreneurship globally. The roots of uh, Chai are in 1992 in Silicon Valley. Uh, as I understand, there were 10 business owners, they were supposed to meet with some Indian, de Indian government delegation, and this somehow Indian delegation was late or they, they had some uh, issue coming there. So they started, they started talking about uh, themselves and they, before you know, this Thai organization was started. Uh, the name was given Chai as Dr. Say, the Indus Entrepreneur. And now we are calling it the Challenge Ideas and Entrepreneurship. Uh, today, Chai has over 1,600 chapters. Uh, <coughs> Among about uh, 40, uh, I'm sorry, 600 chart, I take it back. We have 45 chapters in 10 different countries. And we at Chai have two kinds of membership. One is called charter membership, which is sort of board of governors, of go uh, and then one is a, a regular membership. We have about 1,600 charter members across the world with 12,000 uh, regular members. And I, I might add, this is a completely non-profit uh, volunteer organization. Uh, Southern California chapter of Thai was founded to inspire, foster, and support entrepreneurship in Southern California. Members of Thai and non-members alike find tremendous value in educational, networking, and partnership opportunities available throughout, uh, through the Thai platform. Uh, we have brought globally recognized entrepreneurs to South Southern California so that the local entrepreneurs uh, can learn from their successes and failures as well. We hold regular events throughout the year uh, at uh, two places, one at UCI and UCLA. We alternate between uh, those two places. The third, third, third Wednesday of the month, we have uh, various uh, mixers going on, just networking purpose. Uh, we also have annual conferences and one is coming up on September 15th uh, in the Anaheim area. Uh, Southern California chapter exists solely to build and bolster entrepreneurship network in mentoring and education in the vibrant Southern California region. If that interests any of you, then I invite you to, to 
check out one of the events, get involved. Uh, I'm sure that you will not be disappointed. Uh, if you would like to get more information about the upcoming events, you can check uh, www.socal.chai.org. And uh, also we have some of the, the charter members in the group uh, and some of the executive members uh, in the group. And I'd like to recognize them, if I may uh, ask them to stand up, please. We have Suman Naresh, who is our uh, 